Welcome everyone to this week's Bite Size Talk. With us today is Rike Hansen from the Cubic in Tübingen. And uh, she's going to talk about everything you need to know about hackathons, keeping in mind there's one coming up very soon. So off to you, Rike. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, or at least I'll try to talk about everything relating hackathons. Um, so to get started, maybe um, quickly, what do we mean by hackathon? So I don't know what the official definition of hackathon is, but what we mean is, is basically we just want to meet up for a few days with other like-minded people and spend some time coding together, um, maybe actually close some issues that have been hanging out for a long time um, and just enjoy each other's company and work together. Um, so who is this aimed at usually? So we aim hackathons at people that are experienced in Xflow and are interested in contributing to next NF Core pipelines, to various NF Core infrastructure things, or also to Nextflow plugins. If you're completely new to Nextflow, um, the hackathon might not be quite the right fit for you yet, but instead uh, we have run several community trainings a year, usually also around the hackathon before um, that you can attend. Um, all the material for this is also online and the recordings of it are on YouTube. So you can go back, um, rewatch it or also do it whenever you have time to do so. Right, so we have basically two setups for hackathons. We do some in person um, where most people meet and then we do some online. So we do the in-person one um, usually in Barcelona in fall roughly. And then we also um, recently started having one in Boston. Um, and the other one that we do is online. For this, we use Gather Town. It's like a little um, yeah, platform where you can log in, you can have your little avatar that you see there. You can walk around, you can easily interact with people. Um, you can go to enclosed spaces um, to communicate with a bunch of people but don't bother anybody else. And it's really easy to use um, to just get kind of this hackathon feeling and this group feeling while being online. And it also has a bunch of fun little things like dogs you can pet and go-karts you can raise around. Um, we've been using Gather for quite some time and it's worked really well. Um, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. So you need to use the email address that you registered with for the hackathon. Um, and if Gather Town is sounds a little bit complicated or you don't really know how to use it, James made an entire bite size just about Gather that you can check out. Um, and the online hackathons are also usually once a year and they tend to be in March-ish, let's say spring. Um, and last year we extended the online hackathons to having distributed local sites. So basically, we encourage people um, at their institute, at their workplace, to have small gatherings of people that are around um, to kind of mix a little bit this um, online only, but hackathon together with the in-person feeling of it. Um, and these are pictures from last year. And while by making the slide deck, this was probably the slide I has most, had most fun with going back and finding all the, all the um, group pictures. Uh, from from hackathon from hackathon in March last year. Um, if you want to host one of these distributed sites, it's very low stakes and low effort um, to make it as easy as possible. So essentially, the there are only two things you need to do um, if you want to host one: is you need to book a room and you need to add yourself to the website. You can see here already a bunch of people have registered for the upcoming hackathon. Um, and then when people sign up for the hackathon, they can find your site and, and register there um, up until, you know, the, the maximum number of people is reached. And then you just program together. We do um, ask people to be online on Gather, though, while even while they meet to stay in touch with everyone else. Um, and since the majority of people won't be in the room with you, so don't forget to bring your headphones to not bother anybody. Um, yeah, and then how do we normally do hackathons? So basically we subdivide um, ourselves in topics, formerly groups, um, and typically we have a topic or a group that centers around pipelines. So people that wanna work on existing or new and of core pipelines, then we have a topic that centers around modules and sub workflows, um, topic about infrastructure, so and of core tools and website development, and then we, tend to have a few more depending on what we're doing, what we're doing at the time. So recently we had 
topics fo focused around NFTs or NextFlow plugins or um, documentation. And you are not at all bound by it. It just helps us organize a little bit. So throughout the hackathon, you can switch around as you want. Um, oftentimes, um, I mean, you might develop modules to be used in your pipeline that you then later add on. So we just use these topics to organize, um, but you can do basically whatever you want and just move around as you please. Uh, we communicate as always in of core via Slack. So we set up specific hackathon set channels. Um, here I already made made up some that we will probably have for the upcoming hackathon. So we have a central channel uh, where general stuff like announcements, um, hey, wrap up is happening, these sort of things are posted. And then for each topic, we have a channel to find people that are working on the same thing or to get help uh, or just you know talk to people there. Um, we organize all of our issues and features in GitHub project boards. So for each hackathon, we create a new one. If you go to the end of core GitHub site, you will find this tab project. Um, and then there you will find um, um, the link to the, to the hackathon project board. And there we collect any issues, features um, that people want to work on. Uh, you can also add your issue if you want to work on this during the hackathon. And it helps us to organize. It helps other people find issues if they're looking for work. It helps uh, make sure that not two people work on the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's it's really nice to have. And also it helps us track what needs reviews, um, what has been done, um, and, and just the current state of things. If you can't find it, um, we also have a website for every hackathon where the Slack um, group is linked, all the topics are listed, and also the, pro the link to the project board is listed. So here at the bottom, you can see it in gray. Right, so on the hackathon, we have all of these issue cards. These are the same issues that you have in your pipelines or in modules, they're just linked there and we can use them there. So if you pick an issue to work on on the project board, don't forget to assign yourself just so everybody else knows, say hey, somebody is working on it or um, you also you know, can more easily find people to help you out on these issues then. And then also update the status. So you see this little drop down menu that says to do, um, in progress, done, and in review. Um, so just by updating the status, it's easier to keep track. All right. Then one of the probably the most important parts actually is reviews. And these are also the ones that usually end up being quite a bottleneck. So um, we need to, to review everything, all the pull requests and so on to to before merging them in. And we need people to do this. So um yeah review as you go um also in, in some um groups we have tried out review buddies so for example two pipeline groups uh rna seek and, and rare disease or so um that they exchange reviews with each other to get them done more quickly um also don't forget to add um, the ready for review in your status and drop the link on the request review channel on slack just to raise awareness and also return reviews so if you i don't know just worked on a module and open a pr maybe take five minutes to pick another pr to review if you're unsure if you should get a, give an approving review you can also just comment on it this is also really helpful for other people Right. Um, throughout the hackathon day, uh, you will be bothered by your topic leaders um, to fill out some progress slides. And at the end of each hackathon day, we have um, some up slides that just give a very high level overview of the day, what happened, which modules were worked on here, for example. Um, at that hackathon, we were particularly talking about NF tests, so we highlighted this. Um, or you know other um, um, interesting things, like a new sub workflow was added. Um, and this is there to update everyone else and also to celebrate ourselves a little bit for the achievements. Okay, so to sum up how to contribute at a hackathon, um, yeah, go on Slack, chat with your group, then find an issue and assign yourself and start working on it. Open a PR and request a review, um, maybe while you're waiting for the review, review one back, and then update the progress slides. And then don't forget to celebrate, get up, get a cup of coffee, um, get some snacks, take a walk, um, and then start over again. Um, so all the information for all the hackathons is also always linked on the website. So for each hackathon, you will find an individual site. 
Um, so here's the, the March one already linked. Um, yeah, and if you're a couple of things maybe before before I finish, um, if you're very familiar with Nextflow, but you are not so familiar with N of Core yet, we have a bunch of bite-sized talks that cover individual aspects, like how do we do testing, linting, how do people have their code environment set up, um, what is NF test, um, all these things that could be very useful. So maybe check out those. If you're planning to work on a new pipeline, be sure to propose it in the new pipelines channel before the hackathon. So whenever somebody has a new pipeline, um, they get proposed and then we kind of talk about it. Does it fit into another pipeline? Can it be a standalone pipeline? What should the name be? Um, and it takes a little bit of time. And if you propose a new pipeline at a hackathon, you might not actually be able to work on it because people didn't have time to review it um, or discussions took too long. So if you want to work on a new pipeline at a hackathon, come to the new pipelines channel and, and write about it there. Um, also, maybe when you sign up for the hackathon, consider a little bit what you want to work on. It's nice to get in touch with others beforehand and find um, some um, some collaborators on something, and then you can start right away on Monday morning. Uh, last but not least, um, I hope this goes without saying, but we have a code of conduct that basically says, don't be mean, be inclusive, be friendly. Um, yeah, and everybody who attends one of our events needs to adhere to it. Yeah, and as Fran mentioned, we have a hackathon coming up in March from the 18th to the 20th. Um, and we are still looking for a lot of local site organizers. So uh, if you're thinking about it, I can definitely recommend it. We did it last year and it wasn't a lot of effort and we had a lot of fun to do it. If you have questions about it, I'm also happy to answer anything there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, I have now allowed everyone to unmute themselves <laughs> to, to uh, uh, start their video. So if there are any questions, um, please uh, ask away. Are there any in the chat? Uh, there's a lot of thank yous in the chat, but I <laughs> have not seen a question yet. Um, I actually have a question. So if you are um, interested in working with Nextflow and NF Core, but you don't actually have an own, your own pipeline, you just learned uh, Nextflow with one of the courses, what is it you can do at a hackathon? Um, so one thing that I think always works really well is pick some of the modules and contribute those. They are very self-contained packages usually. So you have one module, it's very like you very achievable to add this one tool, I think, um, minus a couple of difficult points like test data or so. Um, and that for this, you don't need any pipelines. So the modules are completely um, independent, basically, of pipelines, and you can always contribute there. But also, if you want to contribute to a pipeline, a hackathon is a great way to meet the developers, um, to get in touch with them and work together with them as well. Right. A question. <laughs> Yes, hey, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I have a question. If we have like an idea to work on something, what's the what's the proposed um, procedure to actually start uh, on to work on like a certain component of a pipeline or if that we feel is, is missing or something like that? Um, like maybe adding issue? a new feature to an existing Yeah, project. for example, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically add an issue to the GitHub repository of the pipeline, maybe talk to the people who develop the pipeline if something is already going on. Um, and then it will be added to the to the issue board, and then you can just work on it. And if it for some reason didn't up, didn't end up on the project board for the hackathon, don't worry, you can still work on it, and we'll add it yes. later. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Uh, there is a question in the chat. Uh, can we work on NF Core style workflows, for example, NF Core template based workflows using NF Core modules? Sure. Nobody's keeping you from anything. <laughs> Yeah, so I can. I guess no. we can say that uh, any end of core related work is very welcome at the hackathon. Yeah, uh, it also doesn't have to fit in any of the specific topics that we choose. So you can work on anything. Yeah, exactly. It's more that we try to organize it a little bit to help people. But if you have something you want to work on, go for it. Um, if it isn't on the project board, don't worry about it. Just add it later. Um, or if it doesn't fit there, also good. Maybe you found something completely new to work on that you just came up with that on, uh, like a completely new topic. It's, um, it's all good, all very welcome. Hello. Hi, 
Um, so I'm I'm fairly beginner. Um, I've I've played around with NF Core. I've written my own very simple like read QC pipelines in Nextflow just to see how things are working. Um, do you think a hackathon would be suitable for someone like me? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if you already know Nextflow a little bit and you know NF Core a little bit, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, we just want to make clear that we don't have any like training sessions um, yeah. at the hackathon, and we don't have typically t people there that are dedicated to train other people. But if you have like like a few components you want to work on um, or just chat with people, then um, that's that's good. I think. Cool. And uh, just a follow up: Do I need to be added to the NF Core? GitHub to be able to. Post. Yes, very good point. So basically, before you start a hackathon, I meant to mention this, uh, or not start a hackathon, before you join the hackathon, make sure you sign up to Slack and to the GitHub repository. Um, typically, there's also, I think, an email or maybe it's in the sign up sheet that you need to do it. Um, but yeah, this two very important points. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks oh. for having me there. All right. Thank you. I, I also want to clarify, even though we don't, we are not there to um, have t the training events or anything. If you're a beginner and you have questions, of course, ask those questions straight away. Yeah. So don't yeah. hesitate. We're happy yeah. to answer any kind of questions any any way. I mean, even outside of hackathons. But there, you might actually find people in the room that can immediately answer the questions. So that's actually awesome. Excellent. Thank you both. Uh, Thank can you. infrastructure and yeah. DevOps professional participate in the hackathon, or is this hackathon focused solely on developing new code? Um, no, they they do and they have participated um, on it or developing. Um, I don't know. Maybe you mean like GitHub Actions or something for for deployment and so on. Um, so yeah, we have a bunch of people who work on this, and I think actually last hackathon we had a group that was dedicated to DevOps. Yeah. Uh, are there any more questions? No, I think we covered it all. Then I would like to thank you, Rike, for this great presentation and everyone in the audience for listening. And as usual, the John Zuckerberg Initiative for funding our bite-sized talks. And uh, yeah. if you're interested, don't forget to sign up for the hackathon or maybe even to uh, host the site. Thank you. Yes, exactly.